Come inside, a little trickery here. Sanders gonna throw it wide open. It's booster for the Our story begins in the present, with the play as unpredictable as the story of the man in which it involves. We start not as we might expect, with the pass from well-known San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo, but unexpectedly, with the hectic 35-yard floater from veteran wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders in a shootout game against the New Orleans Saints on Sunday, December 8, 2019. The man on the receiving end of this pass? Raheem Mostert. On the surface, it's easy to label Mostert an overnight success in the NFL, but those of us familiar with this story know it as one of perseverance, patience, and opportunity. Who is Raheem Mostert, and how has he taken the reins of the lead running back on the NFL's second-ranked rushing offense? This is the come-up story of Raheem Mostert. Born on April 9, 1992 in Florida, Dominic Raheem Mostert attended New Smyrna Beach High School in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, also known as the Shark Bite Capital of the World, providing a little background for his choice of celebration to top off his receiving touchdown from Emmanuel Sanders. Mostert would actually turn down surf and skate sponsorships from Billabong in his pursuit to be the first college graduate in his family. In high school, Mostert was a standout jumper, hurdler, and sprinter for New Smyrna's track and field team. In 2010, Mostert won the district title in the 300 meter hurdles, and in 2011, during the outdoor state finals, he finished first in the 100 meters with a time of 10.68 seconds. These qualities Mostert would garner as a track star translated well onto the football field, where he quickly and clearly distinguished himself as a player with elite speed and vision, and established himself as a skilled asset on special teams. As a football player, Mostert returned 9 kickoffs and 1 punt return for touchdowns, in addition to having 39 receptions for 723 yards and 4 touchdowns during his senior year before committing to Purdue. And as a participant in the 2010 Central Florida All-Star Game, he was named MVP after hauling in 3 passes for nearly 100 yards and returning a kickoff 94 yards for a touchdown. Although today known as an elite running back, Mostert's tenure at Purdue was largely dominated by his success as a track star. In 2014, Mostert won the Big Ten Outdoor Track and Field Championships in the 100-yard dash and 200-yard sprint. He would then go on to win the Big Ten Indoor Track and Field Championships, running the 60-yard dash in 6.63 seconds and winning the 200-yard sprint once again. These accomplishments on the track boosted his confidence on the football field and did not go unrecognized. As a part of their 14 for 14 series, ESPN named Mostert the fastest FBS football player heading into his 2014 senior year season, with only Tyree Kill at Oklahoma possessing a faster 100 meter sprint time of 9.98 seconds. As a freshman on the Boilermaker football team, Mostert would set a school record for averaging 33.5 yards per kickoff return, finishing the season with 7 returns of 39 or more yards, including a 99-yarder against Western Michigan in the 2011 Little Caesars Pizza Bowl. Despite his enormous contributions on special teams, Mostert was not made a running back until his junior year season in 2013 and thus had a lot of catching up to do. He would end his career at Purdue with only 759 yards rushing and 4 touchdowns on 136 attempts. After going undrafted during the 2015 NFL Draft, Mostert signed as an undrafted free agent with the Philadelphia Eagles. Mostert would accumulate 157 rushing yards and 191 receiving yards, leading the league in yards from the line of scrimmage that preseason, before being cut by the team to solidify its 53-man roster. Mostert would then bounce from the Miami Dolphins, Baltimore Ravens, Cleveland Browns, New York Jets, and Chicago Bears before finally landing on the 49ers practice squad in 2016. The world got a taste of Mostert's abilities in 2018 against the Green Bay Packers on Monday Night Football where he would have 12 carries for 87 yards. But his real coming out party would be solidified on Thursday night against the Oakland Raiders, where Mostert would break free on a tantalizing 52-yard touchdown to put the first touchdown of his career in the books. No pursuit. Mostert. Inside the 10. Touchdown 49ers. What a night. With the rookie Mike McGlinchey. Unfortunately, Mostert would go on to fracture his forearm later in this game, placing him on IR and ultimately ending a season full of potential. Overall, Mostert would finish the 2018 season with 261 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. Mostert has since signed a three-year contract extension with the 49ers, scoring his first touchdown of the 2019 season on a 39-yard reception from Garoppolo during a Week 2 win against the Cincinnati Bengals. Despite strong running back teammates Tevin Coleman and Matt Breida on the roster, Coach Shanahan has recently announced that Mostert has given them no choice but to name him the lead running back for the rest of the season. 
After many years of grit and determination, Mostert's opportunity finally came, and after the special play against the Saints, he won't be looking back anytime soon. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and let me know if there's any other players you want me to make a video on. Cheers!